ಮಂದಹಾಸರುಚಿರಾಜ ಪೂಜಿ ಸುರನರೋತ್ತಮೈರ್ಮುದ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಶ್ರೀ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ ಮಹಾರಾಜನೀ ಜಯ ಅಲ್ಮೈಟಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಿಲೌಡ್ ಘನಶ್ಯಾಮ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪಾತ್ ಮೇ ಕಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯಪಾತ್ ಗುರುಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತ ಚಿಂತಾಮಿನಿ ಸದ್ಗುರು ನಿಸ್ಕುರಾನ ಸುಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿ ಮ್ಯಾನಿ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಫೈ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಕಂಪ್ನಿ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಸಂತ ವರ್ಡಿ ಪಾಂಚಾಡ ದೇಶ ಮಾ ಕಾಜು ಕಾರಿಯಾಣಿ ಗಾಮ ಅನಂತ ಲೀಲಾ ತ್ಯಾ ಕರಿ ಹರಿಯೇ ಕರ್ಯು ನಿಜ ಧಾಮ ದರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಂಚಾಡ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ವೈಲ್ ಡಿಸೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಾನಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿ ಮ್ಯಾನಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಲ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚರಿತ್ರ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಲೀಲಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದಟ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಾನಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸತ್ಸ ದರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿ ಮ್ಯಾನಿ ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿ ವಿಲೇಜರ್ಸ್ of karyani they become a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan because the king of the village king of the town vasta khachar he became a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan that's why many other persons also join bhagwan swami narayan's divine fellowship but even after watching and even after become a witness of many many divine incident and very uh, unique and glorify uh, those incident which glorify bhagwan swami narayan's greatness as well as the importance and greatness of his santo still many persons in the village of karyani they didn't accept the refuge of bhagwan swami narayan as well as his santo that's why they remain as non believer not doubt they have as bhagwan and santo passed through the street of the village and as many times they sitting in a assembly and that's why many times those non believers they also pass from the place of the assembly and that's why they have any how even though without understanding proper greatness or glory still they have darshan of bhagwan as well as his santo those non believers they have only this kind of merit unknowingly they have a darshan of bhagwan and santo that's it nothing else on the other hand the, their whole life remain full of all kinds of sins and bad habits and uh not following commands prescribed in the scriptures in this way they pass their life now there was a person whose name was manasyo he was from a kathi caste and he was not uh he was not become a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and that's why he committed many many kinds of sins throughout his life even he didn't follow the rules re- prescribed in the scriptures for even ordinary person meaning he even didn't follow the rules for human beings and that's why he had committed all kinds of sins now even though he was very young and he had not at all 
any kind of physical problem in his body meaning he, he he was totally healthy once he was sitting outside from his house at the time he saw some unique person like an alien they have the heights double than normal human beings height and even their body like not a human body not not an animal's body but totally different now after watching such kind of very terrible not animal not human this kind of unique alien than that manasya as he was sitting outside from his home a little bit fear develop in his in his heart because those alien like people they have a uh, different different kinds of weapons in their hands and manasya had uh, had seen this this type of people first time in his life and that's why he had a little bit fear in his heart and he was just thinking where these different kinds of people where they stop and where they are going and at the same time those alien like people they stopped there in front of this manasya and he just caught manasya and they decided to take this manasya into jampur because they were n- not an alien they were not any other persons but they are the jamduts so jamduts caught the this manasyo and they decided as he had committed many many sins and even all kinds of sins and that's why these jamduts they decided to take manasyo into jampuri with his physical body with his human body otherwise mostly what happened when a person his time of death is near at the time if he had committed uh sins throughout his life and not committed any uh religious act or not uh perform any pious deed that's why jamdus come at the time of his death and after his death jamdus cut his soul and while remaining uh keeping body on the earth jamdus took its uh soul into jampuri but this time jamdus decided that as manasya didn't live any kind of live uh, any kind of sins and that's why they decided to take manasya with his physical body into jampuri now what happened in the way as these jamduts they proceed towards jampuri but as they came outside from the village at the time the those jamduts they talked with this manasya throughout your life even you after getting this valuable human life after getting this human body you never perform any pious act meaning you never accept refuge of bhagwan even though bhagwan swami narayan the supreme authority the supreme bhagwan he even resides in your town and still even his son to also lived in this village and still you didn't understand his glory his greatness and as you failed to accept bhagwan swami narayan's refuge and as you didn't become his devotee and that's why today we will take you into jampuri and will and you have to be suffer from many many kinds of pain and sufferings in the jampuri so this manasya 
as he listened that bhagwan swaminarayan is the supreme lord from these jamdas so now as many times santo talk to him that bhagwan swaminarayan is a supreme lord and no god besides this maharaj still he didn't understand this truth and now at the time of his death as jamduts they said that bhagwan swaminarayan is supreme lord then this manasya he understood that bhagwan swaminarayan is a really supreme lord and that's why even at the time of his death he remembered bhagwan swaminarayan because he had a uh, unknowing darshan of bhagwan swaminarayan as bhagwan swaminarayan many times lived uh, many many times stayed there in the village of karyani that's why manasya had many times unknowingly darshan of bhagwan swaminarayan and his santo and that's why he remembered bhagwan swaminarayan at the time of his death and he said to uh, he make a request to all towards this jamdut that i have darshan of bhagwan swaminarayan and his santo so i have that kind of merit in my life even though i have committed sins throughout my life still i have this much merit of having darshan of bhagwan and his santo and as this manasya remember bhagwan swaminarayan's divine form so at the same time bhagwan swaminarayan divinely appeared there and as bhagwan swaminarayan came there at the same time without thinking for anything all jamdus they flew away they ran away then manasya remained there in outside of the, his village so now he understood glory of bhagwan swaminarayan a divine power of bhagwan swaminarayan now after understanding bhagwan swaminarayan's glory and greatness he came back to his home even in the village he talked to all of the villagers about this incident that jamduts came to me and they wanted to take me into the jampuri but as i have darshan of bhagwan swaminarayan and as i have remember his divine form at the same time bhagwan divinely appeared there and only after the presence of bhagwan swaminarayan all of those jamduts they run away and flew into the sky and now i remain a live on this earth otherwise i will not in this way even manas to describe the glory and greatness of bhagwan swaminarayan as this incident completed and manasya remain in in his body in his village but after some days again nine jamdus again came to take the uh, the soul of this manasya into jampuri now as this uh, nine jamdus they cut the body of manasya and they decided to take him to the way of sky because they uh thought in their mind that if we took him from the village road so if bhagwan or his santo found out us and that's why we we may be in a trouble and that's why they choose a way of sky but still manas uh, requested them i have the son of bhagwan swaminarayan and his santo so please relieve me but still this jamdus they didn't even listen manas has request and without caring of anything else they took the soul of this manasya and they try to go back to jampuri but at the same time again bhagwan swaminarayan uh, divinely appeared there and he called all of those jamduts that why are you coming again to this village as once i said not to take this soul to jampuri because he had uh, merits of having darshan of mine as well as my santo so why are you coming again in this way bhagwan swaminarayan saved this soul of manasya and finally manasya become a devotee of bhagwan swaminarayan and after having become a devotee and after uh, following each and every commands of bhagwan swaminarayan and after listening katha 
many times from the santo as manas understood a real glory and greatness of bhagwan swaminarayan and he understood a real upasana of bhagwan swaminarayan after that he finally redeemed from his body and finally attained divine aparapaksana the second incident written in the same chapter by niskulanan swami that was also a uh, incident happened in the same village of karyani there was a tailor by the name of mawa this mawa he was not a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and he had committed many sins throughout his life he did not worship bhagwan swami narayan or any other god and that's why as his time of death is near so jamdas came again to take the soul of this mawa so mawa now as jamdas caught this soul of uh, mawa a tailor and as they proceed towards the jamburi from the way of uh, from the way of the village so as they came back from the village meaning when they come outside the village they found a sant of bhagwan swami narayan then a sant who has a divine vision so that he can see the jamduts as well as they can see the form of bhagwan swami narayan now this sant he asked those jamduts why are uh, taking this soul of uh, tailor then jamduts uh while folding their hands towards bhagwan swami narayan san they said uh he had committed sins throughout his life and he had not uh become a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and not worship bhagwan swami narayan so uh as our duty we took it all to uh to jampuri now the son said but he many times work for our santo meaning whenever we need to uh, sew any our clothes or any thing for mandir then this tailor he help us but jamdu said he many times even uh, uh he many times given a payment for that by the devotees but still the son said even though he, he had uh, work with the uh, payment still he had so any kind any how he had uh, so the santos and that's why he had got a merits of sant seva and that's why you cannot be able to take its soul into jampur and in this way bhagwan swami narayan san he relieved this soul of a tailor and finally tailor also described the glory and greatness after coming back to his home he described this incident to all other people in the village and finally he also became a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan now the third incident described in the same chapter that was also of the same village karyani now there was a devotee by the name of trikam first two incident manasyo as as well as a tailor mawab that those two were not a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan but in third incident this was a trikam he was a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan now once upon a time there was a disease in the village and that was very dangerous uh, disease uh, the disease of play so this devotee trikam bhagat he was also caught by the caught by this impact of this disease of play so now plague pervades throughout his body and because of its impact his body uh gradually become become 
and finally one day appeared that he cannot eat anything he cannot even drink water and now he only just laid down on the bed uh like helplessly he had no any kind of strength or energy in his body now he knew that my death is sure at any time it is sure i have to leave this body and that's why he constantly remember bhagwan swaminarayan's divine form in his mind so now as at the time of his death he remember bhagwan swaminarayan's divine form bhagwan swaminarayan divinely appeared there and he uh, and bhagwan swaminarayan himself himself as he had a divine power and he had all kinds of authority so bhagwan used his divine power and with this divine power there there will be there will be no any kind of disease remain in the body of this duty trikam and finally as bhagwan swami after having divine darshan of bhagwan swami narayan trikam bhagat remain uh, become very healthy as he was before now after understanding that what was happened that was only because of bhagwan swami narayan's divine power as trikam bhagat understood that bhagwan swami narayan make something magical on my body so that i can be relieved from this uh, death because of plague but as bhagwan swami narayan also instructed him today your death is sure but i want to take you into uh, take you into this body and that's why it is only because of my divine power you are a live on this earth and instead of you now one of the female duty she went to oxata as this trikam bhagat he just informed and he just described this incident to other devotees at the same time the other devotees they got a news of the death of one of female devotee in the village now in this way bhagwan swami and divinely appear there at the time of death to the devotee and himself save a life of his devotee and even more than that without any disease the another devotee she would send to oxidan and one who had a severe problem meaning a serious disease in his body and still he remain alive just as this incident happened at the village of karyani before many years before 200 years but even such kind of incident happen at present time the same kind of incident we know about it the incident of our ramesh mama just as mama was very healthy he had not a uh, uh, not any kind of serious disease in his body and on the other hand female duty who had a brain cancer and even bhagwan gave him uh, gave her darshan and bhagwan himself informed that i will come to take you into my ashram tomorrow on the day of ekadashi still bhagwan swami narayan took that female duty into her body and bhagwan took a sal of ramesh mama into his ashram so the same kind of incident happen even today now the four and the final incident described in the same chapter that was a different incident that was the incident happen in the village of gadda where maharaj lived for about 30 years 
there was a businessman who was not believe in bhagwan swaminarayan or any other hindu deities but he follow the principles of jain so in jainism they believe only one's action meaning only one's karma if one finish one's duty or if one finish one's own deed one's karma then that person also become a bhagwan a form of bhagwan so this is very false and very fake uh believe or we can say there is no any particular philosophy behind this kind of philip uh philips and that's why at the time of his death jamdus came to take its soul into jampuri because throughout his life this person he refused the form of bhagwan as well as the other avatars of bhagwan that's why jamduts were very ready to take its soul into jampuri for the better punishment but throughout the way of the village of garuda as many times this person had also darshan of bhagwan swami narayan so as jamdut also talked to him that even though you rem- you lived in the village of garuda and bhagwan swami narayan himself stay here in garuda believing his own home his hometown and even 500 even more than that santo also lived in the same village and still you didn't understand the glory and power of bhagwan swami narayan and why do you believe why do you believe in such kind of fact philosophy or fact belief in this way jamdut talk to this person and at the time as this was also a businessman so he understood the divine power of bhagwan swami narayan so at the time of his death in front of jamdut he also remember bhagwan swami narayan so as at the time he remember or he just try to remind in his mind about bhagwan swami narayan's form at the same time bhagwan swami narayan divinely appear there and bhagwan swami narayan relieved this soul of the businessman from the clutches of jamdut and bhagwan swami narayan said to jamdut that this person had a darshan of my santo and that's why because of a uh, darshan of my santo he got a uh, too much merits in his life even though he had committed many many sins throughout his life still he had a darshan of my santo and that's why he cannot a candidate of a uh, jampuri so now in this way bhagwan swami narayan relieved this person who was not a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan in fact many times he had refused the form of bhagwan swami narayan also still bhagwan was very compassionate and that's why bhagwan said even though you have refused my form but still you have a chance to have a darshan of my santo and that's why by any how you have contact with my santo meaning you lived in the gadra and my santo also lived in the gadra so on the same way you are walking when my santo walked many times so the dust from my santo's divine feet touch to your body and that's why you become a pure and in this way bhagwan swami narayan gave him a darshan at the time of his death and even relieved him from the clutches of these jamduts and jampuri so finally after getting this divine experience this non believer even started to worship bhagwan swami narayan and become a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan finally he also 
redeemed from this mundane world and finally he also reached up to the akshardham so in this way sadguru nishkunan swami described uh, this kind of incident and in the in in this chapter nishkunan swami said there was thousands and thousands of such kind of divine incident happen but how many divine incident we experience and how many we can try to write it down in the book that's not in our hand to write down all of those divine incident even we cannot describe fully all of those divine incident and that's why nishkunan swami said this much is enough for understanding bhagwan swaminarayan's glory and his divine power his ever presence on this earth as well as the glory of his devotees in this way we can understand as well as we can also learn the lesson from this whole the chapters or a part of divine incident that just as sadguru nishkunan swami glorified the devotees and santo at the time of bhagwan swami as well as his own time in the same way we should also describe the glory and greatness of today's santo and bhakto that's the lesson we can learn from this all of those incident now in this way nishkunan swami ends this 158th chapter of bhakta chintamani and in this way even sadguru nishkunan swami ends the describing this kind of divine incident in the this holy scripture of bhakta chintamani so all of those incident up to 158 chapter of bhakta chintamani after reading after listening those incident up we should learn many many kinds of divine experience and we should even understand glory of bhagwan swami narayan by reading this kind of incident that how bhagwan swami narayan divinely appear at the time of devotee's death as well as many times bhagwan saved in difficult times many times bhagwan divinely come at the time of difficulty as well as in many many ways bhagwan swami narayan protected his devotees so now if we have any kind of misery any kind of difficulties in our life we should also remember bhagwan swami narayan he is the only uh, liberator for us as well as just as sadguru nishkunan swami also in the second chapter of this scripture he even pray to santo in the same way we should also remember as well as pray to today's santo meaning our the great ekantik sant like puja our, our guruji we should also pray to him whenever we have any kind of problem or difficulties in our life as well as if we have no any problems no difficulties then we should pray to him for our betterment in the path of liberation or path to attainment of bhagwan swami narayan now i enjoy this satsang while reading the scriptures like bhakta chintamani and reading and listening the incident divine incident written in those uh, in these scriptures we should learn many many things from this bhakta chintamani's parcha prakaran and today sadguru nishkunan swami concluded all of those uh chapters which have this kind of divine incident and he had given us the this kind of gift that uh by reading this incident we even get some kind of divine energy in our heart in our satsang so after reading this divine incident we at least say thanks to sadguru nishkunan swami that if he had written this incident so today we by reading and by listening this incident 
we want to understand the glory and greatness of bhagwan swami narayan as well as uh we can learn the method to describe today's uh santo and bhakto's glory sri ganesh maharaj ni j